Unfortunately, a weekend of violence nationwide, including right here in St. Louis. Right now, a teenager is in police custody after a shooting downtown. Nearly a dozen teens were hurt. One was killed when a gunman opened fire in the fifth floor of an office building. It happened near the corner of Washington Avenue and 14th Street just after 1 a.m. on Sunday. News 4's Deon Broxton is following the latest details on this crime alert, including a plea to Republican lawmakers. That's happening tonight by Congresswoman Cori Bush. It's the nightmares come in. You know, like I said, I've been shot since 89. I'm still having nightmares today. Darren Seals knows what nearly a dozen teens are experiencing right now. St. Louis City Police say someone fired shots at a party inside this downtown St. Louis office building early Sunday morning. Ten teens are injured and another one is dead. Their ages range from 15 to 19 years old. What we want them to do is say yes to the legislation that's already there. There's an assault weapons ban legislation. We want them to vote yes on it. Congresswoman Cori Bush is calling on federal lawmakers to take action after SLMPD recovered an AR style rifle and handguns from the scene. Bush is also calling out state Republican lawmakers. Now it just seems like you want St. Louis to look this way because you understand that you're putting out a narrative that is incorrect. St. Louis is what we are because we are a densely populated community that they don't understand because they don't live in densely populated communities. In response to the violence, the city plans to expand youth rec centers. Kids don't have nothing to do. So I said, let me put together a building where they can go and just call it and have it their own. Several years ago, Darren Seals opened Sankofa Mentoring and Training Center in North St. Louis. It's just a place where they can feel safe, more like a safe haven. Seals believes centers like these are a step in the right direction to help kids who come from chaotic homes, which he says can send them down a dangerous path. If downtown is messed up in the daytime, where do you think them kids going back at nighttime? To see what options are available for youth in the St. Louis area, go to the Cambo News app and website. In downtown St. Louis, Dion Broxton, News 4.